<laughs> okay, fine. There, now I'm just focusing on the food. No. It's so, I just had breakfast or brunch with Madrid at Menagerie. You guys know how much I love that place. It's my favorite place for a quiet meal. And now I'm back home. Gonna work on a few emails and projects. Gonna work on... Oh, just vlog content, honestly. And I'll keep you guys in the loop. Hey guys, so I'm super tired. Uh, I basically got back home at like 7 a.m. And then I did a bit of shopping. Funny enough, I still haven't opened my Dior thingy, thingy gig. <clears throat> I'm gonna do that right now. It's actually a lip scrub, but I absolutely love how they've packaged it. Um, it's beautiful. Like, honestly, the attention to detail is like next to none. But since I have friends coming over at 7 a.m., I'm not even gonna bother right now. Ugh, I absolutely love it. It's a Dior Attic sugar scrub for the lips. It's beautiful, it's incredible, and it is fantastic. Like, look at that, look at that packaging. Gorgeous, right? Oh my God, and guys, oh, I don't even know how to use, oh, mm, same. Gorgeous, absolutely love. That is your for me. And I wanted to show you guys something. Like, guys know that I'm not really much for unboxings on this channel. And this is not really an unboxing, but it's pretty cute. So I want to show you guys. You guys know how much I love small, minimalist bags. And I got the cutest little bag from um, Stradivarius, actually. And for anybody who's watching, you guys know that I always do my own unbiased reviews. I always pay for the content that I feature on this channel. I always pay for my products. But, but anyway, back to the bags. I absolutely love this. I think it's super minimal. For me, the main issue is when I go to a club, I never have anywhere to put my passport or my wallet on my cigarettes and my friend's car keys. And I hate putting them in my jeans because I normally like looking like I have a sleek look and I use bulging things in my pocket whereas with this bag it's pretty chic I think it's really cool I think it's just super minimal super easy I love that I can wear like sling body so it doesn't really look like you know it doesn't look like a handbag and honestly it's 2019 I don't really care even if it does it's pretty spacious it's black it goes with everything it has this little lock detail that you got to open up things with Super cute, absolutely love it. That's done. That's one. And two, I bought this for Mo, you guys. So I was in the store and I saw all these bags that really look like Chanel quilted bags, but not in a rip-off kind of way, just with the same kind of texture. The whole time I picked up these three bags that look like Chanel bags and I was like, okay, well, I like these, but these aren't my style. And the whole time I was wondering like, what is this disconnect? And then finally when I got this, I realized it's because this bag is not for me. But it's perfect for Mo. So I got him the cutest, cutest little... <gasps> Guys, how cute is that? Ah, it's adorable. It's like a little pineapple bumpster, but it like has quilting. It's so cute. It is so cute. I absolutely love it. He's gonna love the strap. You can just, you know, attach a Chanel brooch or a Chanel strap or a Chanel belt to it and it looks so cute. I know he's gonna absolutely love it. So that is my second purchase. And then my third and final piece, which I feel like is super Saint Laurent. Guys, you know I love me some bling. Ta -da! Okay guys, so I traditionally don't do unboxings on this channel and my phone died and I'm super tired and I have friends coming over tonight and I need to sleep. So just one quick look at the belt. It's gorgeous. Um, it's beautiful, it's sparkly in the right light. It is an absolute statement piece. Thank you for tuning into my TED Talk and I'll talk to you guys some other time. Hey guys, so I am on the way to the open. This lighting is terrible, but there's nothing else to do about it. I don't want to be walking through the building just holding my phone up. But we're going to an exciting restaurant opening tonight. It's called AER and it's in a prime location, so I can't wait to show you guys what's up. I really hope this is a place where I can vlog as opposed to it being weird and not fun. Again, the lighting is terrible. I might try to vlog from inside, but let's see what happens. I am super excited.
social media cleanse is done and I'm out here with more. We are talking about this exciting night that's happening, which our friend is hosting today called Pose. 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 I still don't watch the show. Sue me. No. Sue her. Sue send her hate comments. I know. By the way, do you know that India Moore like tweeted me back? Ooh. She threw shade at me. What? <laughs> Is this the title of this video? India Moore. India shit. Moore shaded me. Like, literally. And you know what's even funny? Girl, I didn't even know it was her. Oh, like, I don't even oh, follow her. Like, oh, I didn't even know it was her. My God. No, no joke. So, she wore, like, a custom uh, Louis Vuitton dress to the Emmys. Yeah. And I saw someone shared it saying, like, oh, she looks amazing. And I was like, sis, I was like, this year's work looks great on the runway, but it really doesn't have red carpet appeal. I see a tweet <laughs> back saying the carpet's purple if it helps <laughs> and I was like who is this and I was like that comment was about as relevant as like the color of the White House like, yeah, you know exactly. and then I see like 43 retweets because all the fans are like retweeting her comeback to me oh, and yeah. I was just like that wasn't even that smart of like the comment but to be fair, to be fair. she looks gorgeous yeah. the dress I didn't see it yet, but I'm I'll just show it to you show right now. I'll, I'll put, put it like right here. Put it up. Like and, right here. And put the tweet too. Yeah, that's gonna be the title of this video. India Moore shaded me. Oh, India Moore, just coming for the girls. But listen, listen. You, you give know, me a look, yeah. and I'm not gonna like come for you. Actually, I didn't really come for you. You look gorgeous, but the dress was hideous. Sorry. So me and Moore's are at Zara, where you know all the kaleidoscopic community shops before the weekend, oh, and we just love these Chelsea boots. They're so pretty. It's like, ooh, love it. And they have them in suede too, which is hot. But I'm telling him to shop on ASOS because look, these are 140 dollars. <gasps> Gorgeous. Mood, honestly. Um, we're looking around, and I just I live for my monochromatic truth, you know. All of it. There's a video too. Mm. Like when you wear these, it has that little heel. Guys, we have fallen from our thrones of luxury goods and we are shopping in Polyesterville. But listen, can resist a good deal. We're all about deals and budgets. Budget, you know. Literally, we're not budgeting, but you do. It's so hot right now. I'm gonna pass out. Gross. Guys, we are heading out. So it's been a week since my entire social media WhatsApp cleanse. Yes. And we're heading out tonight to a night called Pose, which is organized by one of our good friends. And we're super excited about it. We always, ah, uh, always, 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 we always so, <laughs> we always show up to support. Yeah. And I'm super excited about tonight. I do wish I was giving you a more over the top look, but for me, it's just like a different look. Like I feel like normally yeah, we're I'm giving like, you, we're giving you the Cali, the, the Cali, Cali boys, fantasy, the Cali, you know, California. like the message I got at 2 a.m. You up to breathing, bro? And I'm just like. <gasps> Breathing, breathing, hair breathing, breath doll, Brain? Barbie, same. Is that what you meant? Literally, you like braid me anytime. Seriously, but like for me, like I'm off the market. You know, married. Me same. no, me no take. Mm. Uh, me no one time for special yeah. one anymore. Me, me, me special boy. You know, you are the special. You boy. take me straight to Tiffany, or I get a Tiffany, and I just exactly. like, and if I get an and Epiphany, if I get an Tiffany, you bet your bottom dollar you're taking me straight to our man. Bottom or top dollar, we take it all to Tiffany. Honestly, we don't judge. We're you like here for universal pleasure. Hashtag Universal Records. Sponsor. <laughs> Guys, this is Aaron. Hey, how are you? Aaron. Hope you're having a beautiful day. Tell me something about life, Aaron. Uh, be who you want to be. Anybody that talks shit, you tell them, suck my d on some shit. Words of wisdom. Where, words of wisdom. That's it. Words of do wisdom. what you want. That's going to be the name of this vlog, suck my d No, I might get demonetized, but like, you know, who cares about that? Like, good vibes, yeah, right? Good vibes. Ta-ta. Hey guys, so I had actually a really eye-opening night 
and I basically removed somebody from my life that Honestly, I, I had hoped that things would be different, but it wasn't. This person, you know, like I always say on my blogs, this person might be a really good person, but sometimes you can have two great personalities and it just doesn't work in a friendship or relationship or anything else. So I wish this person all the best, but I have cut off all contact with this person and I have eliminated any chance of contact with this person and I really hope it stays that way because I'm done um, I basically invited this person to a club night and this person came there and then really didn't spend any time with me or my friends but stick to one person that I didn't know which is fine but you know when he told me that he was going to leave for something better I found that a bit sad because you know you come out here to support your friends you don't come out here for what's cool or what's trending you come out here to be with your friends and you support the people that are doing something you don't go where the best time is you go where your friends are and at least I'm a firm believer in that and um, I have since blocked this person because like I said he might be a really good person but it's not for me and I I don't tolerate that kind of behavior and again I, I wish him all the best and I wish him all the happiness in life but that kind of relationship is not for me and second I met a wonderful person who you guys saw earlier whose name is Aaron who shares beautiful thoughts on life and perspectives and yes I don't know him and yes I just met him but I believe in giving everybody a chance and if they fuck up they fuck up because we all do we're human but I love meeting new people who change my perspective on things and I think if any silver lining is there <sighs> from all of this and um, for me removing this person from my life honestly has been on my mind a lot recently I think it's this, I think it's that when you tell the universe how much you're worth, the universe gives you what you're worth. I and mean, then you should never settle. I care for this person and I want what's best for this person. But that relationship was really trying on me. And I thought that, you know, it could be the perfect friend or whatever it was. And I just think it's very difficult to be friends with somebody sometimes who's in a relationship but then their partner is not really around so you know you kind of have to you know be mindful of them and I don't I think there's no way for me to put say anything where it sounds right but like I said I care for this person and I think the best thing for both of us is if I block all contact because it hurts me to be, it hurts me to be in that situation. And it hurt me last night when <sighs> he didn't speak to me the whole time he was at the club. If you invite me to a club, I'm not going to come in with another guy and I'm not going to ignore you. I'm there because of you and I'm there for you. My priority is you. It doesn't matter if I like you or not. That's irrelevant to me as a person. I'm there loyalty, friendships, that's how it is. And some people might think it's too much. Some people might think, oh, Dimitri has weird standards and Dimitri gets angry with people. I don't get angry with people. I expect a standard for my friends in my life. And if people don't match that standard, that doesn't make them bad people. That just means they don't match the standard that I have for people in my life. So I wish this person all the best. And I wish him all the love in the world because I think he's a great person, but it's not.